My name is Jason Holbrook, Sales Manager with Absolute High TN, and thank you for joining us for this video series titled The Complete Guide to Sizing Injection Molding Machines. Part of our daily routine is to quote machines, and what often happens is we will have a buyer say to us, I need a thousand ton machine. The seller replies, well, what shot size, what tie bar spacing will you need? And the buyer might respond, I just need a thousand ton quote. The better alternative to this is to consider the machine as two different pieces, the clamp unit and the injection unit. So let's start with the clamp unit. The clamp has tons to consider. And yes, that pun was intended. Tonnage of the machine is given in kilonewtons, US ton and metric ton. Here in the United States, we more often than not would use US tonnage. But another large driving factor is tie bar spacing, as well as the minimum mold height, the maximum mold height, the stroke, and the daylight. But let's not forget about the injection unit. It's often an afterthought when it comes to quoting machines. We need to be considering things like the material type, the fillers of the material, the molded shot size, the cycle time, the residence time, the injection plastic pressure, and screw recovery time, but also the screw geometry. Unless otherwise specified, most machine manufacturers are going to quote what's called a GP screw. In many applications, though, what we should be using is a mixing screw and sometimes a barrier mixing screw. Every machine supplier has available for you a machine specification sheet. And on that sheet, it will clarify the clamp dimensions, the injection dimensions, and other important uh, aspects of the machine like the full load lamps and the size of the machine dimensions for the real estate that the machine will require on your floor. So in up and coming videos, we're going to go through a step by step process on putting the machine up, putting together a proper machine specification, going through things like how to size a clamp, how to size the injection unit, what materials matter, different screw geometries, fast cycle and parallel motions, auxiliary equipment, and last but not least, automating your machine. So thank you for joining us. In the meantime, if you've got further questions and concerns, please reach out to us and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much.